22nd of June at the Crystal Palace National Sports Centre. BXGP, I've got Christina and I've got Cheyenne. This is the BXGP face-off. Right. If I go over just to both of you as well, I want to know and get your opinion on this event. Um, for you guys, you guys are fighting each other on the 22nd of June. If I go over to Christina first, um, Cheyenne's been on the card before um, on the last event. How's training been and how's preparation been for you? Uh, it's been it's been what it goes well actually. Uh, it's been okay. Uh, we work hard. Uh, we putting the work in. Uh, for me, I have no experiences with boxing. I have experience only with one fight before. Yeah. So for me, is everything this for is new for me. Yeah. Uh, so I'm excited, looking forward to it. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's it. Jan, how are you, how are you doing off of, of the last event that you had at Crystal Palace? There's a lot of uh, adrenaline maybe carrying over into this one for you. Um, just what are your thoughts going into this? It's another fight, another big day. Um, and as I said, you know, this, this event is in sponsorship with the zone as well. So it's, it's a big event all round. Um, is there more to this for you or are you as excited or if not more? The last one was your first fight. We know about your journey, um, about your weight cut as well. Um, from down from 99 kg, 99 kg to, yeah, to 59. 59. So it's a big weight. Obviously, you had a big weight cut. How are you feeling in terms of the event? And obviously, you've got, I've got my opponent to your left and I'll ask you some questions in a minute, but how are you feeling? No, I'm feeling amazing now. Um, I've been at this weight for quite a while now. Um, it was, I would have said it before, it would have been a lot harder because I was cutting and then I wasn't used to being that weight. But now I am. I've been training hard. I've been locked in with my coaches. And yeah, just ready for a good fight. Put my name on the map. Yeah, that's it. Putting your name on the map is the main thing. And you say this is your first fight uh, at not boxing. Not my first. Yeah, and, and I used to have before one fight of a ultra white collar. Yeah. Only one fight, and uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to so, a new challenge. So we look at we look at the stacked. I mean, talk about women's boxing now, which is like really stacked across all levels, um, and there is that pathway as well where you can progress and go. And we've seen it obviously with females and males. And then we talk about a male uh, fighter specifically who went white collar to professional, uh, Fabio Wardley, um, who m pushed on from white collar boxing, didn't have an amateur career. Um, how much of an opportunity is this for you, Christina, being at your second fight? It's in front of 2,000 people at Crystal Palace. Um, there's, there's, there's lights, there's cameras, there's going to be a big crowd when you go out there. Are you nervous? Uh, not at all. No. Uh, I used to be a professional ice hockey player for 18 years, so my background is this background. Yeah. So I have all experiences uh, from ice hockey. Uh, yeah. For me, I don't see myself as a boxer. No. I wouldn't consider myself as a boxer. I would consider myself more as an uh, just athlete, yeah. you know, uh, seeking another challenge. Yeah. Um, uh, the thing is, like, I never thought like I would be that much addicted to boxing when I started to do boxing, but yeah. it's really addictive. Mm. It is really, and uh, it's a beautiful sport. To mm. be fair, lovely science, you know. Mm. Uh, for me, I would say I probably a bit found myself back again because I stopped playing ice hockey after my, let's say, knee injury, mm. and I found myself back. Mm. Shan, yeah, for you as well. Obviously, we just spoke about the lights, but after a, coming off the off of the first really impressive win that I saw you get there, where it was great boxing that you showed, determination, obviously, and I, f I feel like you dominated, obviously, in that first fight. Do you look to do the same off again? Have you had much? Have you had much um, sort of with your training, uh, preparing for a fighter? Have you had? This is the first time you're in front of your opponent. Yeah. But have you been sparring people of a similar size in terms of just? Have you had much? sort of research been able to look at her. she has had one fight but does that make it a bit harder for you not uh, knowing what you ex to expect no um do you know what i'm just going in just open-minded ready for the challenge mm -hmm. um ready for the fight um i'm not even focused about what she brings to the table it's more about me and what i bring to the table um yeah it's, it's just basically a battle between myself yeah. but with an opponent there so yeah, you lot, really... you lot, you lot are at similar levels in terms of the boxing because you know it, it, this. The last one, correct me if I'm wrong, was your first big fight on that yeah, show. Was, yeah. Um. So for you as well, you've come here today. You've seen each other. Is there anything when you look at each other? 
just a little glance as you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go. Um, is it just a glance as you do? Do you look at anything in your opponent already that you think, mm, yeah, I've got mental battles? The mental battles are important in boxing because when you do the face-offs beforehand and all these things, you get a, essentially it's like the art of war. You get to see what what your opponent's about. You can uh, the eyes tell a lot. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I see a calm girl. Yeah, calm girl, calm girl inside. I see a determination, yeah. passion, yeah. and uh, obviously the desire to do her own best. Yeah, that's what I see. What about that? I respect that. No, I see. Mm, what do I see? What do I see? <laughs> do you know what she? Do you know what she's mysterious? But I yeah. like that. I see that she's gonna bring a challenge. Yeah. That's what I see. I see determination in her. I see that she's gonna put up a fight. In that's your in your training, what would you say your strengths are? My strengths. Um, I'm willing to learn. Like if, yeah. if there's something wrong and I need to work on, I'm willing to learn. Yeah. I, I don't go into training thinking that I know everything. So yeah. what do you, what do you what do you do in training? My stubbornness. Like? Stubbornness. I am really stubborn and uh, I'm not satisfied as long as I don't get that skill. Uh, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm not going home. <laughs> what do you what do you what coming into this fight being at your second fight? What are you relying on most in terms of how do you see yourself essentially? going into the fight is it a dominating boxing performance is it your power that you're looking to uh show what what is it wh what are the main attributes that you think are going to help you in this fight i think i would say my aggress my aggressivity yeah i'm aggressive uh, like uh, aggressive athlete uh, yeah. i would say not like aggressivity like in a bad way yeah. but like positive uh, way. positive yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah so this one and it's worked for you as well i know i've seen you before obviously yeah. fight um very can be aggressive coming forward and stuff. So for you, is it the same? What are the main attributes that you look at? Um, just staying calm now in the ring. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. not fighting with emotion as much. Yeah. That's it. That's what I'm trying to focus on doing. In terms of obviously, we 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 see a lot of face offs, and you know, they're different in terms of some can be really like coming together, clashing, and there's a lot of respect. And I sense there is a lot of respect here, but on the night, that respect will have to go out the window you're fighting each other yeah. so you know is it easy for you both to switch on if i ask you first christina uh for me it's easy because when you're in a fight mode uh, obviously like you're in a fight mode yeah yeah there is a there is nothing really obviously still respect yeah. uh, absolutely 100 percent still respect yeah but there's a fight mode and there is no any other feelings mm. you know just like go for it go mm. for it go for it win 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 on my mind uh that's it what about you yeah from the minute i wake up i'm already locked in yeah, yeah obviously. Well, on the day of the fight. Yeah, keeping yeah. respect. I, I'm I'm locked in, but there's a different type of lock in when you wake up yeah. and you know it's like fight day. Um, there's a different there's a different type of respect once we hit the rink mm. because it's as I said as she as she said it's all about winning. Yeah. Um, but yeah. How how important is it as well? Obviously, the card on the fi on, on the twenty second. There's fifteen boxing fights on this card, um, and as well, obviously, it being your second fight and the experience that you're taking from this, but. If we talk about just for a second, like women's boxing, if you see like the, the, the resurgence it's had over like the last 10 years, at, like pro to amateur level, how how positive is that for you girls coming into this? Um, obviously, you've got aspirations. You want to get better. You want to progress. You want to progress. Um, what what does it does it fill you with confidence knowing that there's a pathway now for female boxing? If I ask you first. So I have to admit, like, I don't watch boxing at all. Really? I don't watch sport at all. Yeah. I just love to doing it. I just love, uh, I just love to doing it. So for me, I don't even, if you're going to tell me a big names of, yeah. I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, so I you're just there them. for yourself. I mean, not like, um, it, it maybe sound weird, but yeah. I just like to do stuff. Yeah. I just like to do sport as my life, I would say. Yeah. But uh, I'm not really like fan of yeah. or support or fan. So it's just a, it's more the competitive nature that's in you. Yes, to, yes, to, I would say to perform, and you, you as well. Is it is it something you know that you're when you look at the pathway for female boxing? How how is that? How does that fill you with confidence? No, I'm happy. I like I like I like the idea of putting female boxing on the map. Yeah, I like the idea of um, especially us youngsters. Yeah, like I'm I'm only mm. 21. Yeah, so. Female, female boxers like trying to propel. It's it's a nice, it's nice to see, yeah. like even Jake Paul getting his first main card with um, what's her name again? Hey, that's swearing here, man. <laughs> but we let that one. Jake Paul is a swear word here. <laughs> but but yeah, 
I hear it. Everyone's got their own uh, aspirations. I know you've said before the reason you got into boxing was a lot because of the misfit stuff. Yeah. I get it. Everyone's got their different thing. Um, I'm just busting a little joke. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you're looking at your opponent now. What do you do on the night, or what do you believe you're going to do to win? Do you do you do you picture in your head how you're going to win, uh, Cheyenne? In terms of, or do you just want a good performance? Is it a knockout you're looking for, or is it just to dominate your opponent? Do you know what? Last time I was like. I went with the intention of just KO, 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 and that didn't happen. Mm. So now I'm only focusing on just dominating and putting up a good fight, like showcasing my skills yeah. and obviously putting female boxing on the map. If I, go I, would, to you. I would answer exactly the same. Wow. Yeah. And if I, obviously, I feel like the questions have been asked, the face-off will be done soon. But before we do go, let me ask you a question as well. Do you think you've got, in terms of, you listen to what she's saying, and about her competitive nature as an athlete. Is there anything that you take from this? And I know there's a lot of respect, and I'm digging a bit, mm. but do you look at her in any way and think, yeah, I've got more in it than you? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I went through the whole journey myself. So, yeah. Yeah. I've Chris, been through a lot. So, yeah, I got it. Yeah. Chris, you, yeah. you, as a human, you know yourself the best and you know mm. your abilities. So, of course, you believe in yourself because you see, only you see the hard work you've done. Yeah. No yeah. one's been clapping for you. So, the same. The yeah. same as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 22nd of June, Christina Cheyenne get it on. It's going to be a big fight and a big night of boxing. Um, so, like I said, my final word is good luck to both of you. Can we get a handshake? Of course. Yeah. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. 22nd of June, Crystal Palace National Sports Centre, BXGP. Be there, 2,000 people cheering these two on to fight. I'm looking forward to it. Uh -huh.